TNGM The Show presents... Talking Nerdy, March 2024. Dude. Halo, we're going to finish that off because we did half the episodes last month. Now we're going to do a f the rest, the, the f four, and then just a full summing up of it. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Beam Baster, and our guest, special guest. Oh, Marvin Goof here. Marvin Goof, yes, who did a Dune 2. He did our Dune 2 review, Dune Part 2 review to be more specific. And so we are here to talk nerdy to you. We've been doing this, what, like almost 13 years now? Yeah. Right? Crazy. So we are here to waste our time so you don't have to, right? Like we're going to watch everything good or bad that's nerdy, you know, try to play as many things, do as many things, so you don't waste your time. You can save it for the best of the best, Absolutely, right? Yeah. So that's what we're here to deliver on. Instead of watching eight hours of Halo, maybe just a few minutes of us. Let's move on to oh, Hollow, because that's what it feels like. I mean, Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Halo. Uh, I mean, there's some remnants. Look, when the show is cool, it is peak awesome, right? When you yeah. get Master Chief, when you get the Spartans doing their thing, even when you get the the other chicks, the Spartan 3s, like their yeah. armor looks cool. Yeah, they're not as cool, but they still look cool. <laughs> when they're doing their thing, when you see the ship, the space battles and... Radar about to be jammed. <laughs> And the stuff that you're there for, oh, beautiful. But it's so rare. Like, it felt like they just packed all the cool stuff into the finale, and then that was it. But they also packed too much in, right? Yeah, like, it was just too much going on. Like, uh, I felt they should have gotten to the Halo sooner. It would have been better. Instead, they're having to do this backwards way of introducing the Flood. Ooh, where, okay. uh, instead, uh... They find uh, spores in an old uh, Forerunner ruins and let it out. Which doesn't really make much sense if you know the Forerunners of Halo. Because mm. they wouldn't do that. Because uh, they built the Halo for one reason and one reason only. To obliterate all life form to get rid of the Flood. So they wouldn't keep any remnants of the Flood if they could help it. Because they already did the... The reason why the Forerunners aren't there is they already used the Halo once well, to try to get rid of the Flood. Man, because I mean, I admit, I, I will openly admit to this, like, I, I mean, I'm wearing the shirt. I put enough hours into Halo 2 back in the day that, you know, I care about Halo. And I haven't touched a lot of this stuff because of, you know, how unfortunate it's been. But if there's at least some good presentation with a lot of the uh, battles I, you know that could be worth it you know to see it at least if that's what you if that's what you say it's a trap don't do it <laughs> <laughs> well as i've said i am part of a lot of groups myself and for us and the the audience really does seem divided there's some people that absolutely love this show and then there's some people that absolutely hate it it doesn't seem like there's much people in between mm. because it's it's I'm not even a hardcore Halo person, but I know writing well enough to know that this show is not well written, you know? And so, I mean, if, if anything, if you're going to watch anything, start with season two, because season one is not worth watching. It's a waste. It's a complete yeah, waste of time. They they spend too much time on the side character, and even now you're barely seeing results of said side character. They spend all the time Interesting. On okay. season one for... Yeah, it was just very disappointing. Like, they could have been done so much better. And then the whole tease of having... Well, they have this weird gir human girl that's with the uh, Covenants. And she mm. was born and raised by the Covenants. Okay. <laughs> and she apparently has the abilities to activate the Halo like Master Chief does. Huh. And basically, the person with her goes by the name of Arbiter, but it's not the one you thinking. Really? So it, and, and then <laughs> when you 
chief and arbiter finally meet. They fight each other, and the, ar the supposed arbiter dies. So hopefully that gives room for the arbiter we all like. <laughs> Bring Keith David in. Yeah. Like, why do it? <laughs> yeah. Because in the Halo, Halo 2 and Halo 3, when you do multiplayer on the campaign, in Halo 1 you're just both Master Chiefs. But there's another character that shows up as an ally and happens to be a Covenant the guy, but he's still your ally. And so once you're, once him and Chief are together, it's player two's a Covenant and player one's Master Chief. And in Halo 3, it pretty much, like just right after the, like the first or second scene in Halo 3, the Arbiter's back and yeah, player two plays him again. And so I'm, it's sad to not see them, see them tease so much of that character and not bring him in, because he's such a good character. To see his development was really cool in Halo Two, where you see like why he's doing what he's doing and why he would even align himself with the demon. Mm -hmm. That's the demon. Man. Yeah, oh, man. I, I mean once again, it, I didn't get that from the show. I I don't feel like there was good character development. I, I, the the story arc was a mess. It's all over the place. Even the finale didn't feel like a finale. Mm -hmm. It feels like the like I know they're before the finale. Yeah, it does. It does. It feels like oh hey, there should be one more episode or two more episodes maybe at most. But I know they're just going like yeah, we're gonna leave at this cliffhanger so we can make a whole other season. And I'm like I don't even want a whole other season. Like just give me one or two more episodes and I'm good. Like if we're gonna complete this. Because I don't really want any more than that. Like, And it's annoying that they don't, like, they reveal what the Halo does, but they don't actually reveal why it was there. Because if you understand the Halo's there to get rid of the Flood, which you got to start seeing the Flood get created, yeah, I didn't really like the plot twist to have a Halsey Flood infected. Hmm. But yeah, then again, Halsey, they just really haven't done very much good with the, with her as a character, unfortunately. Mm. And the daughter, they just have her show up whenever they need another scientist. Mm. But it's really weird. Keys and uh, Halsey have a kid. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, then, then I mean, I'm the type of person that'll give everything a chance. You know, I, I'll you know, I will take your suggestion. I will start with season two. Yeah. And I'm yeah. gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna figure this out. I mean, I will say one of the coolest characters. He is like he's an ex Spartan, and that he's a cool character. Yeah. You didn't. And once again, I don't feel like you needed even the first season for its, his moments to still be awesome. I mean, there are some decent moments, but, like, overall, yeah, I'm just, like... Well, the best parts were yeah. actually after the fall of Reach with that character and Halsey. Yeah. They're back and forth. Like, you finally got to see, like, some type of traits with Halsey at all. Instead of just, I am here for pure science, and I will make science better. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I... I I can be honest, I have been suggesting people not to watch this show. Yeah. I'll be like, I'll, I'd rather give you the synopsis of what went down. It's better off to, you're better off playing the games and reading the books and doing that instead of watching this. Now, if you want to see it, go, it, like you said, if you want to, if you really want to give it a try, give it a try. I mean, when you're single... You have more time. You don't have kids. You have the time to waste. Okay, go ahead and waste that time. I got three kids. I don't have the time, and I'm wasting my time for you. And I'm saying it's a pass. Still, mm. it's still a pass. Proceed yeah, it's with a pass. Caution. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna proceed with caution. Pass that. I will waste my time. All right. Also, back to Halo Infinite. <laughs> We'll see if they make another season. I don't know. I feel like... I was surprised it got a second season. Yeah, I'm surprised season. it got a second season. So, honestly, I won't be surprised if they get a third season because this one was better. And I feel like, like I said, the, the audience is divided based off the groups that I'm following. People have been... Actually, I made, I made one comment about how I thought the writing was bad and someone went off on me. And I was like, what is wrong with people these days, too, of being like, 
I know I'm not a big dude, but you don't know the life I've lived. You don't talk to people like that. Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't know how they're trained or how they're not trained. You don't talk to people like that. People are way too comfortable with talking however they want to people online. They're way too comfortable. They, they, you can tell that people are in a generation of where if you say something, you can get away with it because where we come from, you get punched in the you, face. You get punched, yeah. You want a piece of me? I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. At the least. <laughs> at the least. At the least. Okay, so this younger generation? No. No. I'll pull a Liam Neeson. I will find you. <laughs> So that's that. And that being said, like I said, we talked about some of our merch already of the stuff we're going to be making for you all for next month. I'm sporting our Dragon Ball style shirt talk nerdy to me because, of course, um, if you've heard Akira Toriyama passed away, which is such an, uh, such an icon, such a legend, is, of course, Dragon Ball, but... He also did, like, Chrono Trigger, and then he did Dragon Quest games... Yes, yeah, so he, he's just like, it's so crazy when people go, all he did was put pen to paper and how much, right, like drawing and writing and how much people did he affect. There is a generation of nerds because there's, nerds used to be basement dwellers, you know, attic dwellers maybe. Now look what they are. They're the gun show, right? Like, yes. the, and, and I'm not even one of the big ones. Like, there's dudes that legitimately look like Broly mm -hmm. because of Dragon Ball Z. There's dudes that look like Goku. Like, there's a generation, and then, like, even like you said, the other stuff, like, that he's done, it's just crazy how he's changed, you know, how, how I, he's changed, obviously, even uh, America, the America's Western civilization, because I know that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is massive in South America even, right? Because yep, they came, indeed. they were there before they, they were in, in the States. So, like, they're, they're huge. It's huge everywhere. And it's so crazy, the influence of the guy just made drawings and, and wrote some stuff. And that's it. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Indeed. So if you want to do it, do it. Be inspired by that. And make, let's create, let's make those stories, right? Absolutely. And inspire awesome. people to work out, to do more, to grow, to be better. So, yeah. And then I also got uh, my Asul Beetle pants that I designed. I don't even know if I have these in the store, but I just loved the Blue Beetle movie so much. It spoke to me. I know it didn't speak to everybody. It wasn't really necessarily meant to speak to everybody. I mean, hopefully it, it does to us and then to a certain degree, but I, I thought it was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best things, if not the best thing, that DC's put out in a long time. So, especially if you're not, like, into superhero stuff, I, I think, like, you won't notice a lot of the things, I won't say ripped off, but definitely, you know, we're taking notes from, like, Iron Man, and, and I mean, there's so much, right? There's so much now. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Well, I, I mean, that pretty, pretty much sums it up for me. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, you know, so... But you got the out. Halo. I did get the Halo shirt right here, so, you know... And we're going to have to hook, we're gonna have to hook him up with the Star Trek, oh, you know? Oh, yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get that Star Trek merch yeah. out there. We don't have much now, but like I said, we'll start pumping it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, so for sure. We'll, I don't know, they might just all forget about Star Trek, like how everyone conveniently forgot about Michael and Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest thing oh, I've ever no. seen in my life. <laughs> it, basically, Michael Burnham, the main character, when they go into the future, they're like, okay, well, we're all going to forget about this character. That's all interesting. That was really, <laughs> like, literally what they said. It was bad. Oh, man. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I love, uh, I, I love the main chick, though. Oh, my gosh. She was also, wasn't she also in Walking Dead? Maybe. Yeah, she Maybe. was in Walking Dead. Um, but... I mean, I, I love the first season. I absolutely love the first season of Star Trek uh, Discovery. So, and I know there's other stuff that's been really good. I've heard of Star Trek that's that's out there. What's what's the other one that they have besides Discovery? Uh, I know uh, there's Picard, obviously, which I've yes. heard both good and bad uh, things, but Beyond mostly has been good. Pretty Brave solid. Beyond, yes, Beyond. Brave is New the other World one. is out there, but Brave New Worlds is out there somewhere too. I think. Uh, I think. No, yeah. Not um, Beyond. Um, 
Stranger Worlds. Stranger Worlds. Stranger, that's yeah, the one that's I've one. heard a lot of good things about. That one's been kind of good. Even that's lower decks. Basically, uh, happens before uh, Kirk takes over the Enterprise, and so it's uh, focused on Pike's uh, turn as captain. Okay, sweet. So, and then you're rocking the uh, talk nerdy to me Star Wars shirt. Yes, and and this is like our so this is like our first one of our first shirts, right? Like our stuff's gotten way better. Like we've added like light swords. Are we, you know, <laughs> beam swords, beam swords, you know, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some legit stuff. Like we have like, you know, the double one, the, 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 the white ones. Like we have so many different designs that Slay J designed that are just phenomenal. And I, and I feel like I need to get those ones because they're so great, yes. but yeah, there's, there's so much stuff. So, and what's great too is so every month we donate 5% of our profits to charity. So help us. Help them by buying our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for March, it's uh, Center for Reproductive Rights. Um, last month, it was Noble. I forget. I know that for April, we're going to do Autism Speaks. Mm -hmm. So I've done my research. That's what we're going to cover. That's going to be charity that we're going to be donating to. So please, help us so that we can give get, help them out. Right? We want to we wanna make a positive influence on our society. On our world, Absolutely, you know. Absolutely, yes. And that being said, I want to give shout outs because the, the people that have po uh, positively helped us as well. Of course, at the top of that list and always at the top of that list, we have to give out a shout out to our best bud Atticus who just continues to grow and get better and do more interesting things on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. as a YouTuber in Vietnam, as a teacher in Vietnam and just showing us you know, slice of life, you know, anything, any, really anything goes like, I mean, now he's covering, he's, he did, he's done a deep dive of, of Dune on his, so he, he has nerdy stuff too. Like we've inspired him to, to do some nerdy stuff on his channel. So definitely check him out. He's one of the greatest. Uh, we have Burn Kenshin, the, the superpower list, check them out on Facebook and definitely on X. We also added, uh, there's Gone Gold Podcast, Poe Boy Pod, Billy D's, Gmart 8, Pesky Gremlins. They retweet us a lot, so they're awesome. Cinematic Anarchy, Filmmaker Pod, uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde. They're, uh, they're across the board. They do uh, on, oh, online web comics and stuff. Nice. And, and I, just yeah. love, I just love the message that they send. Like they're, everything that they say is so inspirational. Mm. So definitely check them out. The Film Rage guys, those guys, they review every single movie, good or bad, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. They waste their time. So you don't have to. It's, and some stuff is surprising. You'll be surprised. Like some stuff you're like, oh, I thought that was going to be garbage. They give just enough to where it doesn't feel like completely spoiled, but they'll spoil if they're like, we're going to spoil so that you don't waste your time because you shouldn't. Like we have to spoil it so that you, you know, do that. So they're great. Web Imagine Service, they do music and promote music. Amerame Media, they, they're similar to us, but they're different. Uh, and Riot TV, they do uh, streaming stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Zarin 67 and then newly added is G Nuts of Horror so if you're into horror definitely check them out because they do reviews for stuff for them so that's where you're going to do your get your horror stuff like comment subscribe share us you know with your friends your family your dogs you know your pets whatever let's talk let's keep talking about this stuff you yeah know, get is... get uh yes yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers we're more than halfway there so that we can cover more stuff for you and and like i said like us on on facebook and and help us out you know we really appreciate it we love it thank you for getting uh where we where you've gotten us to now on 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 everything we're 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 on everything we're on x we're on the threads we're on instagram we're on facebook we're on youtube of course so talk nerdy to me stay nerdy planet earth